Alright, here's how we're starting the day off. I got the shed pretty much cleaned out so everything's organized. Stuff we're gonna keep. I need this back plate and the... We're gonna switch to a single din. Here's that starter everybody complained about, my brand new one. Got the ECU. This is for a fourth gen if anybody wants it. Stack. I'm gonna tip them for sale. And then two, the pull, uh, the, the pillars there. And a little turbo that needs rebuilt. 50 bucks for that, but... Also got this stuff is going though he's picking his stuff up on monday so turbo three wheels it's all paid for and whatnot and everything else is under here the interior you know there's a seat and stuff under there so just to keep it out now we're going to start doing some tuning on the 12 valve so let me get this lock close this door other way other way other way it goes up so we'll do that. So you guys saw that I kept, I changed the pre-boost, which I'm gonna up it a, a smidgen. Like we're doing the star wheel now, right there. It was an eight millimeter, so I had to get my tools for that. But I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna push it in. Uh, so pretty much there is a little bit of lag down below, so I'm gonna fix that right now. And I'm going to go ahead and take some fuel out in the mid and the top, because the rate that it comes on is too much. So we'll take, uh, I'm gonna take out about 10 clicks and see if that makes a difference. All right, I went back about 10 clicks on the star wheel and I put it in like three, one, two, three on the pre-boost, which not too bad. So we'll see how, if it smokes any, we're trying to get rid of all the smoke, but here is what I ordered for the winch cables. So these will sit on there. I don't know if I wanna do them up or do them down. Um, I might do them down because if I ever decide to add a battery back in, I don't know. So one of these will be for ground. You can see it's zero gauge. I get rid of the stupid end connectors. And yeah, then I just need to seal the top off so that water and moisture don't get in there. So that's what I ordered. We'll see if they work. I'm gonna set them right down in there. We're gonna go to the weight truck today and start cleaning that out and yeah. All right, so in theory, this thing should feel a totally different um, getting rid of a couple of clicks hopefully it helps the response a little bit it's 75 degrees right now so hopefully it does a response we're gonna go to the white truck now we got to get that thing out of there sometime this weekend I love that but it's not good. so real quick we'll see how responsive it is when I take off obviously needs to warm up first so we'll do one later too but at some point, I do want to get a sound clip with the springs off just because it kind of does sound good. Still pretty little smoky. We'll let it warm up and see what happens. All right, so the plan is gonna be to get all like the big stuff off like, the dash is sold I just gotta wait for him to come and grab that um, so grab that and get it out of the weather bumper gonna be able to move it we're gonna do the steering I want to get the hood off of it and this guy here I need to get all that so it's gonna be a little bit of a project today but the doors the hood, the bumper, the dash, all that stuff needs to go in the back of the truck. I should have taken the fifth wheel out to do all this today, but I didn't think about it. So whatever. And then, I really don't know. I'm not sure. Not sure. We'll, uh, we'll get the hang of it. All these doors um, really hold on with one bolt, so they're not an issue. All the lug nuts are on. But the big stuff needs to go, like cab, bed, and frame. The big stuff needs to go, and then all the small stuff I can store. So we're going to start looking for some land here soon because I'm just tired of not being able to store stuff, and I'm tired of spending it month, money every month on storing the trailer and whatnot. So I'd like to get my own piece of property, even if I don't live there. That'll be nice. So... I'm going to be selling all my crypto in uh, December if we have a good market this year. Sheep just went up 
Well, my coins just went up 14% overnight, so that is a healthy return. I just throw this headlight away. Throw that in scrap. They're junk. I used to like those. I used to like them pretty good, but they're doing body work down there. So we'll be bringing this guy in here at some point to start grabbing stuff, throwing it in the bed. And if anybody wants these dually flares separate, I don't know if the bed, like, I don't know how I want to do this, to be honest. And I could flip this bed over and put it on top, but I don't know. I we'll guess we'll see. So I got to, I got to do a quick call out on this because I feel like why not? Okay. See these fog lights back here. They're held on with three 10 mil bolts and whatnot. Okay, I was watching Hotshot Benny's video yesterday about how he was doing his seat, right? Okay, and this man over here, he be killing his wrist coming over here, and he's doing this, and he's doing this, and he's doing this. Okay, I'm gonna show you something. Benny, if you do see this, if someone tells you that I'm calling you out here, go get yourself one of these. They're very inexpensive. And I can come over here, and in the time it takes you to do one of these, I can get all six of these bolts out. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And you're over there. You'll be fiddling with one. The reason I say that is because, you know, it's I, my, my poor wrist is was hurting watching you do that, and I felt kind of bad. I'm like, man... Braver soul than I, because I, I could not do it. But I, ever since I bought this thing, it has been an absolute lifesaver. I love my Milwaukee tools. They are the brand that I go to. I don't care how broke I'd ever get. I will absolutely buy the shit out of these Milwaukee tools. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Get the extended head. 3H drive. I can just... Look at that. That's one. Save yourself. Now, I doubt you're watching this video, Benny, but if you are, I saw you doing it with the seats, get yourself one of these as well. You can stick it down in there and you can just wobble socket it. You know, I get you can use the wrenches and you can just sit here and do this. This will save you so much time as well. Throw it right on the end with the socket and then get an extension, put it on the end of that. You get them seats out in probably a minute, two minutes. Hope that helps if you do happen to see this. If not, whatever. How to do it. Um, so now I'm going to get this harness out and then I'm going to reuse this harness over here in mine. We do have, if the sponsorship goes through, we do have some lighting coming for this thing, hopefully, but I want to get rid of these black. These were painted over. Um, I'm going to replace these with the factory ones and get, uh, get the harnesses put in there. So now we'll have fog lights. For some reason, this bulb, the bulb is absolutely destroyed. It actually looks like it melted the inside, yeah, like that, well, that one, oh, wow, that melted my lights on the inside, that is crazy, that sucks, this one, damn, near exploded, look at that light in there, so I gotta replace that bulb, and it definitely melted the inside of the housing, cheap eBay housings, but whatever, well, so I know I've mentioned these a bunch of times, but get yourself one of these because I can come in here, stand on this, and grab into my box. These step-to-steps. -steps. I know you can get some that even go further than that. Um, someone did mention that I should get the ones that go back in. I hate that look. I like them going in in the front and then coming straight back and stopping. I like that. So, super happy with them. So, I'm going to get getting this harness off over here. And we're not cutting anything, just using the dikes as a pry bar so get them out and see how it works all right here's the old ones you guys can see look at that you can't see through that nothing okay they're black there's the bolts so let's see if they turn on let's see do we have oh we have working fog lights now got a lot of parts truck yeah he's not here and I didn't really clean these off all that well, just because they are going to get replaced here in about a week or two with some LED ones. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see if those come through. And 
I need to order the third brake light and headache rack a while because I can do a really good video on that. So the video I do on a headache rack and all that should all pay for itself. But I want to do it all in one shot and get a good video out of it. I love, nothing completes the look of these trucks. Like a good headache rack with a couple of lights in it. It just, I think, on point. All right, here's where we're at. I so said these bumpers go for like two, three hundred bucks in my area. I'm just trying to get that one gone for a hundred bucks. Drive shaft, probably two hundred bucks for the drive shaft. I'm um, gonna throw the headlight and these fog lights away. Transfer case is 500 firm. Dash, I gotta store it for store it for someone until he comes and gets it. Um, if I can find a way to cover the dash, I'm gonna take and try to do an ASMR and like clean all the parts, like take all this to the truck wash, probably pull one out at a time and just like spray it off. I'd be curious to see uh, how it would come out, which it should come out pretty good considering we saw how the fender got cleaned. So I'm gonna pressure wash all of it just because I think it'll do a good video. I think it'll do very well. So I need to go get a 13 and start taking body panels off. So the hood's gotta go in, doors and the fenders. So I didn't have anything to do with this and the guy used orange stuff like I do. So we're draining it into mine so I can throw this in the bed. We've got a bunch of stuff back I'll show you in a second. All right, so here's where we're at. We're just taking everything, shoving it in here. I'm gonna separate and organize everything if I get a chance to get out to the car wash. We've got the door off. I didn't realize I had some things that I still had. Like the simulators are all there. Intercooler, radiator, that stuff's all for sale. The door panels, if anybody needs any of the doors. This door, I was gonna do 200 on, the rest of them 250, which is very fair. A lot of this stuff, it's just cheap enough that it should get out of here. I haven't been pressing on selling anything. I didn't post anything up. So, instrument cluster, 250,000 miles. Anybody needs it, will not fit an 03. I had two guys try to buy it, and they had 03s, and they will not work. For some reason, the connectors are flip-flopped, and even though they'll plug in, they will blow a lot of fuses. Ask me how I know, because I did it. But if you guys see anything in here of value, um, I'm gonna pull these out. You can see like just how clean the fender comes out. So I feel like a pressure washer and some spray nine is what we're gonna do. Just because like stuff like this, I am, I've wanted to clean this thing since I got it, to be honest. I just did not have the time or a way to get it there. So nobody wanted to help, uh, one person did, but I never I ended up Something happened with that. It ended up being shitty that weekend, so. so. Here's about where we're left off. So, everything's stripped. Oh, I know I should take this. I probably should and replace mine, but I don't know yet. We'll see. Mine's broken on one side, so maybe. But everything's cleaned out for the most part. Maybe come in here, hit it with some compressed air. Is take the boots off on here and then just put a vice grip on both sides of this so the so that the steering can't go anywhere because it is attached down here. We'll also try to lock that maybe with a ratchet strap from like up here and like pull it down so it can't turn, but we'll see. Uh, but I definitely want to make sure these were just to get it up the driveway and whatnot. Realize that they turn a little bit. I don't like it. So here's a truck though. Just gotta put these two fenders up and these two things here. This stuff needs to sell as soon as possible. So we'll see what I do today. I would like to go and pressure wash all this stuff though. It would kind of make a good video, I think. All right, there she is. We're done. All loaded down. We just gotta go and hose this stuff off. I don't know what we're gonna do with the cab. The bed I can definitely hose off at some point unless somebody buys it before I can. But. I'm trying to strip this down by piece. So if I can find where this can go, I can move to the next big thing, like pull the bed off, throw this upside down on my bed, find a place to take it. And then the cab, all the cab mounts in here. One's missing, I don't know. Oh, there, okay, there's three on each side. Nope. Okay, and then there's, I have one cab mount in each one of them. I think it was the fronts I left in, yeah. So, that'll work. This thing's just kind of hovering. They're gonna have to redo the ditch on Monday, so this thing needs to get out of here. Buy it, it's all yours. 750 bucks for the cab, 800 bucks for the bed, 850 bucks for the frame. Mind you, it is a clean 
really clean frame we didn't do any damages to it southern it comes with the fuel tank is included if you buy the cab and whatnot it still comes with anything that's attached to it you know the steering column I think those go with the frame because they're attached but it's up to you I don't know somebody anybody needs anything let me know because I would love to get this shit out of here so the spray nine we are out at the shop so I gotta go buy some so I'm gonna head to Home Depot we're gonna grab some of that that stuff works very well so I'm gonna go home and try to take out everything that I can and throw away what I don't need and then we will uh, go from there. So we'll probably head home first because it's on the way. Drop off what we don't need. Then, then we'll go to Home Depot. All right, let's see if this stuff works. To get all of this, all that clean. So I just sprayed the crap out of it. Just getting it. So we'll see if uh, the pressure washer does it. Hopefully it does and we have nice clean doors. Now, let's see if this works. Perfect. Now we will do door number two. Door number two, as spotless as I can get it. I'll throw that one back up there, grab the next one. This one I'm interested in, because you can see all the shit on it. This spray nine shit works really good. This is 13 years of being under a tree. 
see how well it comes out. So if you aren't a believer in Spray 9 yet, you should be. And you can get it for pretty cheap on Amazon. So I do see there's some spots that I could probably touch up, which I'll grab the back here. Just because while it's over here. And try to get the bumper where it's at. And then we also gotta do the fenders. So I'm gonna bring these out as well. So we'll clean the fenders. I turned this off so I don't have to pay for the extra. But, and I'll start it again once I get everything prepped. All right, we're gonna do everything now.
See, when you don't spray spray nines directly, that's what it looks like. I still sprayed it, but it needs more. All right, now uh, we got to take this all home. Definitely a lot of stuff we're not supposed to have, so I gotta find places for it. And unfortunately, the house is just gonna have to do. We got done in the perfect time because it is about to pour. I've seen many lightning strikes over there, so yeah. Oh, there you go, look at that. It's about to pour, it's raining a little bit, but it's, it's about to come down, so all these parts are gonna get a nice washing off. And anyone who says rain does not count as washing your vehicle, shame on you. Shame on you. All right, guys, so I'm sitting on the couch eating Cheetos and Oreos. And uh, the only reason I have clothes on is to finish out the rest of this video. So we got all the car parts cleaned off. As you guys saw, I didn't film anything else. But I really didn't have time to. The neighbor actually came over and helped me uh, get everything stored. So apparently when you own a trailer, there is plenty of storage room underneath of them. So that's what we did. They are all cleaned up and then thrown underneath the trailer. So if anybody needs any parts, they're all pretty much posted up. The only thing left is pretty much the big stuff, a Tippleman and an instrument cluster. Uh, pretty much all the small stuff has been gone. Like everybody wanted all the small stuff. And mainly that's because all of it got shipped. Uh, nobody around my area I guess needed anything uh, but at the end of the month I think on the 28th someone's coming for two doors so that's great and then the dash all right I hope you guys enjoyed if you did uh, feel free to use my Amazon affiliate links down below I get a kickback of that and it's all stuff that I use that I like and I back up so go check that out don't forget to check out mud flap code in the description you get $10 refuel I get $10 refuel and I noticed if I go down to Maryland, I get a 93 cent discount at one of the places where I can get fuel at. So that's a pretty good discount. And then don't forget uh, Coinbase code down in the description. Go check that out. Open a Coinbase account, buy you some crypto, and we also get a kickback of that. So appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Safe travels. Enjoy your weekends. Later.